A liquid in the lab has a density of 1.17 grams per cubic centimeter. What is the volume in liters of 3.02 kilograms of the liquid? All right, so we're starting with 3.02 kilograms, and we need to find the volume in liters. And we know that the density is 1.17 grams per cubic centimeter. All right, that one cubic centimeter is equal to one milliliter. You also need to know that one milliliter, um, or let's say a thousand, 1,000 milliliters is equal to one liter, right? And you also need to know that 1,000 grams is one kilogram, okay? So later in this chapter, we're going to talk about all these conversion factors and how to use them. So what would our steps be to solve this problem? So this is a multi-step problem. So we're going to convert kilograms to grams. OK, and then we can. So we're, in order to do that, we're going to use this conversion factor. We're going to say we know that 1000 grams is one kilogram. Now to convert to grams to volume, OK, we're going to use the density. So we can convert grams to milliliters with our density, 1.17 grams per cubic centimeter, which is the same thing as 1.17 grams per milliliter, OK? And then we can convert milliliters to liters using this conversion factor. 1,000 milliliters is one liter. So if you think about it methodically, then you can work this problem step by step. So that's the way we're going to do it. So we're going to start with 3.02 kilograms okay so we're going to convert that to grams so in order to do that we uh draw these um stoichiometry lines i guess you can call them okay so going from left to right i'm going to multiply and top to bottom we divide it's just like a fraction like two over two times three over one right we multiply top times top, two times three is six, and we multiply bottom times bottom, two times one is two, then we divide six by two and we get three, okay? So hopefully you're following that. So everything that's on the same level gets multiplied and top to bottom gets divided. And in fact, with multiplication and division, it doesn't matter which order you do it in either. OK, you can divide and then multiply or multiply and then divide with these stoichiometry problems. OK, so I'm going to convert kilograms to grams. So I need to put the thing that I want to cross out on the bottom. So one kilogram is 1000 grams. OK, so now. Kilograms cancels and my units are now grams. OK, so now I can convert grams to milliliters. I can use the density for that. I know that 1.17 grams is one cubic centimeter. And one cubic centimeter is one milliliter. Now I could have just said milliliters right here, but since they gave it to us in cubic centimeters, we'll stick with that. So now grams cancels cubic centimeters cancels and I have milliliters. So now I just need to convert milliliters to liters. OK, so how do I do that? I use my next conversion factor. I know that 1000 milliliters is one liter. OK, so now I just need to multiply. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that. So I'm going to multiply 3.02 times 1,000 and then times 1 times 1 times 1. So we just need to multiply 3.02 times 1,000. So basically, I'm just moving the decimal point three places to the right, right? So I have 3, 0, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3. All right, and then on the bottom, I've got 
1.17 times 1,000. So that's moving the decimal point three places to the right, 1170. And then I divide 3020, my calculator's gonna work, by 1170. 3020, that is 2.581.